Expand your horizons and grab a ship that will help guide you and your crew off to distant frontiers in uncharted space, to riches and wonders beyond your wildest imagination. Welcome immortals, I'm Vici Dam, here to go over the top 5 best exploration ships under $200, and a special thank you to my channel members, your support really helps me create this content, and we're starting right now. Number 5. Freelancer Base A medium-sized, long-range cargo hauler manufactured by MISC, the Freelancer embodies modularity, versatility, and firepower, which have made it extremely popular among owner operations and major corps alike. But this versatile chassis can be just as easily appropriated for exploration endeavors. Towards this, a comfortable internal habitation with bathroom, kitchenette, and four beds that double as escape pods combine to create an excellent array of exploration essentials, so you've always got what you need quickly at hand. And while the Freelancer can't bring as varied or large of ground vehicles as the Cutlass Black, its direct competitor, it can bring smaller internal vehicles while maintaining a separate pressurized cargo area for any other discoveries you may come across, no matter matter how dangerous or unstable they may be. Atop a more robust living quarters allows the freelancer to more purposefully serve exploration and its ever-changing needs by opening additional opportunities and your potential profits. For these reasons, the freelancer base is number 5. Number 4. Freelancer Max The heavy transport variant of the Freelancer line, the Max, builds upon all the successes of the base, but adds additional utility with an enlarged rear cargo hold, bigger thrusters, and increased hydrogen fuel capacity. Allowing for a larger size and number of ground vehicles, the Max expands the utility of any exploration party, and ensures that from inclement weather to valuable mining nodes, you've got options on hand to never be left unprepared. For these reasons and more, the max is number 4. Number 3. Vulture. Answer to no one. Cut out the middleman and throw caution to the wind. Rip apart Rex like a pro and carve out your own place in the great big empty, behind the stick of this rough, rugged salvage machine. While the Vulture may not be a typical pick for exploration, I believe its utility as a salvager lets it leverage excellent money-making opportunities which could provide invaluable supplemental income to help fund exploration missions. I believe the salvage gameplay loop pairs uniquely well for exploration, as harvestable wrecks often accompany surrounding areas. Atop this, when combining the Vulture alongside an exploration expedition could provide invaluable materials to help supplement operations for either ship repairs or producing new items on the fly, especially in remote sectors which may be inefficient or prohibitively expensive to find these goods. For these reasons, the Vulture is number 3. Number 2. Freelancer Durr The Freelancer Durr specializes in exploration, sacrificing some of the cargo capacity of a standard Freelancer for an enhanced jump drive, a more advanced scanner, and an expanded fuel tank may seem like a bad call to some, but those who value discoveries and the profits that lie therein will find it to be their ship of choice. The Durr has an array of features that prime it for exploration. Starting off, its advanced scanner will help map jump point routes that can be used as part of a scouting party or as digital commodities for trade. Further, it can help to identify points of interest and incoming threats that pairs perfectly with its massive 5,000 liter quantum tank, so you're never stuck searching for gas or without fuel for a flip and burn from any dangerous situation. And as one of the smallest ships that can navigate any size jump point means that the destination never hinders your discovery. For these reasons, the Freelancer Durr is number two. 
Number 1. Constellation Taurus Featuring a modified hull with an extended cargo bay and underslung twin tractor beams, the Taurus's hauling abilities belie a fantastic value as a sleeper explorer. While it doesn't have an upgraded scanner or the same class-leading quantum range as the Freelancer Durr, the Taurus does bring a size 3 large shield, massive pilot weapons, an internal hab, top-mounted turret, rear-sectioned smuggler's hold, massive cargo hold, and underslung tractor beams for a tremendous amount of combined utility that place it firmly at the top of this list. Ultimately, exploration is about uncovering hidden mysteries, novel discoveries, and valuable treasures lost to time. But beyond just seizing every opportunity, it must be accomplished without endangering the party. Because of the inherent dangers within this profession, I believe the Taurus is the best choice in this budget. Not only does its size 3 large shield provide more protection than every other ship's shield on this list combined, but its massive cargo hold means you can bring the largest number and size of ground vehicles for any situation. And all while still leaving leaving leftover room for any rare artifacts and a hidden hold for the most prized possessions. Alongside this, its tractor beam lets the Taurus sift through any clutter to get to the best locations and facilitate in loading other holds when operating as part of an expedition. For these reasons, the Taurus is number one. But what do you think about this list? I think the sub $200 budget brings dedicated exploration offerings and allows players to really engage with within this role. But for me, I'd be hard pressed to pick anything over the Taurus if I were to head off towards the unknown, as Death of a Spaceman imposes a lot of risk towards any would-be explorers. But which would you pick? And does the fear of character death weigh into your decisions when planning for the future? I'd love to hear from you in the comments below. And if you liked this video, here's another I think you'd enjoy. Or if you want to watch more of these videos, here's the playlist. Either way, thank you and I look forward to seeing all of you out there in the verse.